Hi guys, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to downgrade from iOS 7.1 point whatever to 6.1.3. So we're going to need to go to this website, it's going to be a link in the description and it says Geek, it's Chrome so it translates it automatically Geek Grade Release Downgrade Without SHSH so we're going to need to um, install it on our computer with any versions of iTunes original so you need iTunes to do this iReb Download, so we've got that already iTunes Patch, you need that and the custom IPSW and you also need Red Snow to so download all of those and the custom IPSW so you're going to press download on that and we want 6.1.3 for the iPhone 4, 3.1 for us, and for me anyway, because that's the one I have. So you press on this link here, the the uh, add fly one, and just wait for the countdown to finish. Skip add, and it's going to start downloading here. Um, it's downloading pretty slowly for some reason, so I'm going to pause the video and come back when it is done. Okay, so what I've done is I've made a folder on my desktop called Geek Grade, which is what it's called, and I've downloaded all the files into here. You only need one version, I'm going to delete the Win32 one. We only need 64, so we've got Red Snow, iTunes, iReb, and the 6.1.3 Restore. I've extracted them already, and the first thing we're going to need to do is open up iReb after extracting it. So we're going to open up iReb and press yes if you get a message. We're then going to press iPhone 4 in the bottom left. It's going to search for the DFU. So after this countdown, what we're going to need to do is hold the home and power until the countdown finishes. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and then release the power button and keep on the home button until it goes to the next screen. And you did see at the start that my phone is on iOS 7. And now it's seen, um, saying your device is now in a pwned DFU state. That's what we need to happen. So your phone is in pwned DFU mode. So what we're going to do is need to open the folder again that we made. And then go to iTunes patched, which we extracted. But before we open it, we need to open Windows Explorer and go to music and delete the iTunes folder. If you do have music or any other applications, it will be deleted. So you might want to just rename it um, to something else. And that it will do the same thing as deleting it. But because I haven't got anything saved in iTunes, I can just delete it. And here we're going to right click on iTunes, press run as administrator. That is in the patched folder, we're just going to double click on the iTunes or right click and run as administrator. It's saying iTunes is detected in iPhone in recovery mode, fine. So then we're going to shift restore and we're going to select this IPSW for our, and it's got, you can tell it's the right one because it's got geek grade beta 1 and we're going to press open and I don't know why that's coming up. And we're just going to wait for the downgrade to finish. I'm going to turn off the sound recording now and just record the screen and the court the video in the corner so you can see uh, the iPhone restoring to prove that it isn't fake
Okay, so iTunes is going to come up with an error 37. There's no need to worry. Just press OK on that and press OK on this and close out of iTunes. And then we're going to go... It's going to take us back to the iTunes folder. Go back to the main folder that we made. And then we need to open Red Snow. And make sure you right click on Red Snow. Properties. Compatibility. Run this program as compatibility mode for XP Service Pack 3. And run this program as administrator. And then press OK. Then you can double click it. And my computer is probably going to come up with a message saying yes or no. Do you want it? Yep. Yes. And after that, Red Snow is going to open. When it should say connected IFM4 DFU mode. Then go to extras. Select IPSW. And it's in the folder that I made on my desktop called Geek Grade. And we're going to browse for the... No, sorry, we're not going to browse for that. We're going to go into download. Well, we're going to go where we have, wherever we downloaded the regular 6.0 IPSW. I forgot to mention that. Um, I'll probably put something on the screen uh, at the end of that, uh, at the start of the video. So we need the stock Apple 6.0 IPSW for this version of Red Snow. I'm going to select it and press open. And it says the, this will be used for the rest of the Red Snow session. Press OK. And you press recovery fix. And again, I'm just going to cut here uh, because it, it can take a long time. And you can just see what just happened. It came up with a walking pineapple logo and then the screen just went blank. That's fine, that's normal as well. Just quit out of Red Snow. We're going to just start a new session of Red Snow. So we can just reopen Red Snow. Uh, yes on the notification again. When it comes up, go to Extras, select IPSW. This is actually what you're going to have to do every time uh, your phone goes off because it is a tethered downgrade. So we're going to select the IPSW again, OK, and then press Just Boot. And this is going to take a while, so I am going to pause the video again. Okay, so you can see that the iPhone has finished. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the iPhone into full screen and get rid of the computer. But you can see that it has worked fine. So I'm going to put um, I'm going to film the just the iPhone now. So I'll be back after I've done that. Okay, so we are in the iOS 6 setup. Uh, I've unplugged my phone from the computer. I'm just going to really put my password in. Okay, and then it's going to ask if you want to use iCloud. I don't, so I'm just going to press don't. Use and there we go. We are in iOS 6, so I'm going to quickly show you that we are, even though you could probably already tell. So I'm going to go to general and about. And you can see 6.1.3 fully working on this phone, and oh, we did downgrade it from iOS 7. Thanks very much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please comment, rate, subscribe, and follow my Twitter, and I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.